Hey guys, happy day to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Garney here. Thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? I was going to do an episode today focused on uh, what I'm taking down to Puerto Vallarta as in my camera, you know, to show off my camera, my electronics equipment, but I have a change of heart here. Um, this morning I had a chance to have breakfast with uh, some great men in our, my community, uh, specifically from Riverbend Church. We have a monthly men's breakfast at Riverbend Church here in Austin. And I was invited to go and I got to meet a gentleman named Matthew Freeman. Now Matthew Freeman um, is a great guy to talk to, but he really reached out and told me about, told us, the group, about uh, community first. Uh, you may have seen some of these things. Some of you who are, are are keeping up with Austin and what's happening around. There is a 27 acre community for that Riverbend and a whole bunch of other churches and organizations and builders uh, came together and created this 27 acre um, location that we build micro housing for the perpetually homeless. Uh, these are people who are perpetually out of, out on the street. Uh, they are looking for looking for ways to get back on their feet, uh, but this is a place where they could actually live, um, help themselves, uh, have a sense of community. Uh, you know, there are several homes out there that were actually built by home builders, by you know Habitats for Humanity. There's other groups of you know our church. Um, uh, several members of our church actually went out there and built some homes. Uh, these are two to three hundred square foot homes. Some of them are beautiful, some of them are just basic, but they're at least homes for the homeless. And they've got this great kitchen out there, a community kitchen. they got this community area that the Alamo Draft out, thanks to them, for building out an outdoor theater area so they can be, in, you know, there's entertainment. Also, there is, you know, fire pits and things like that, but this is all started with a vision many, many, many years ago. Uh, back in 1997, five guys here in Austin created this organization called Mobile Loaves and Fishes. Mobile Loaves and Fishes. And if you want to check those guys out, go to mlf.org. MLF, like Mobile Loaves and Fishes, .org. And go to their website because it's more than just, just helping and giving. It's more connecting. And I think that's what really, really struck me this morning is, is the connection. What do, what do people really need? We need connectivity. We don't just need material things. Yes, a, a roof over our head is great. Food for sustenance is awesome. But what's even more important is that connection. It's, it's making a connection with people. There's so many stories, so many wonderful people out there. Uh, I'm going to go out and visit the site when we come back from Mexico. I'm going to make it. And I encourage you guys here in Austin. If you live here in Austin, I encourage you to go to mlf.org, mobilosofficials.org and sign up for a tour for the Community First area. They have tours every Saturday, and I'm gonna take my family out there. I just want them to see it, but most of all, I wanna see what I can do to help contribute to make a connection. Uh, I just think it's a great idea to give back to the community, get, get a chance to connect with people and, and to help where I can. Uh, not just giving monetarily, not just go out and buy some food, or even though those are all great and important things, but there's also that connection. And I thought that really rang true with me. So, Matt Freeman, thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I encourage you guys to do that. I'll put a link out there. Well, I should put a link right here on this video of, of where to go. Uh, go out there and take a look. Find out what it's like. If you're looking for something to do in your community, go out there and look, find, and get involved. Uh, any type of involvement, any type of way of doing getting things is really important. But I thought this morning's message was just learning about the community. I, I missed out on building homes. I I um, I had no excuses, but I just didn't. I thought I was too busy. But now I have a chance to go out there and help. Maybe can I go out and help them garden? Can I actually pull weeds in the garden? Because they got this great garden concept out there. Uh, there's a farm out there with chicken and goats and, and things like that. I've never farmed. I've, I've done a lot of planning, but not farming. I've uh, never done that before. I, you know, I like to talk to people. Can I just be a good listener? Uh, things like that. Can I go out there and, I don't know, be wash dishes? <laughs> I mean, it's just something to do to help out. Uh, 
but anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I, again, I'll put another video out there about, you know, all my, you know, I'll show off my Sony and some of my accessories, my Sony Alpha camera and some accessories that I have with it. But, you know, it's just, I just wanted to share that. I, I hope this was meaningful for you. I, I was touched this morning. I thought it was a cool idea. Uh, it's just something I think is worthwhile looking into. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Houston. Um, we're going to go visit uh, the USS Texas, uh, the battleship that's in Santo Jacinto Park in Houston. I've never seen it. I've lived in Texas all my, uh, most of my adult life, and I've never seen the battleship. So I want to go take some uh, photos and do a vlog from there and the birthplace of Texas. So anyway, have a great day. Wonderful, wonderful sunny day here in Austin, Texas. But in a couple of days, Puerto Vallarta, actually specifically, Nuevo Vallarta, at the Marvel Residence. If you haven't found that place, check it out. Alright guys, have a great day. Peace.